what happened, you know, um, against the Chargers to, to happen uh, this week. Um, but but our mind is not there, you know. Um, as a player, you don't look at it that way. You look at it that we just didn't show up and we didn't play well. Um, this time around, we have to show up and we have to play well. Obviously, against a really good 49er team, um, you know, top in their division, um, probably number one seed, I think. So um, we got to continue doing what we're doing. We got to treat this week as normal as possible, which we will. And, um, you know, hopefully we show up and show out when, when the time comes. When you look at this uh, team, how different are they when they have Kittle out there, whereas if they don't, what kind of challenge do they pose in the secondary, especially with Emmanuel Sanders? Well, they have, a, like you said, a lot of weapons. Um, obviously, Kittle, um, you know, has been great for him. Um, I remember preparing for him last year. He was one of our focal points of preparing. Um, obviously, they got Emmanuel Sanders now, a um, guy who, who's been doing it for years. Um, there's a lot of guys out there who can do it. Jimmy G is looking great, um, and their defense is playing well. It's going to be, a, I mean, they look like a complete team right now. So we're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to bring that energy. Uh, we understand that we got um, a, a great quarterback behind center and, um, and, a, and a great offense right now who continues to get better week to week. And we got to continue uh, getting better from a defensive standpoint. We got to look in the mirror at ourselves and, uh, and, and do better than we did the first half of the year. Um, which we did okay, but you know we still gave up too many yards. Um, we need to do some different things, and um, you know hopefully, we, like I said, we kind of get hot when we need to. Jamon, there's not many guys who've been in a playoff run in this long career. That you've been one. How do you express the opportunity at hand and take advantage of it with a lot of the younger guys that this is turned into now for the last six weeks? Um, really. You know, when it comes to that, like you said, a bunch of young guys, uh, you try to keep things as normal as possible. That's really it. It's not really much you can say or do. Just keep it as normal as possible. That's all of these young guys know right now. They know that we're winning. Um, they come to work each and every week ready to work, um, asking all the right questions. And that's what you want them to continue to do. You know, um, those guys is a, is a big factor of what we're doing right now. Um, those guys are playing well, and we need them to continue playing well. Obviously, we all know that it's the teams who, you know, play well at this time of year. That's who you usually tough to beat. So um, we want to be one of those teams. How do you, the, the big picture is coming to a close here in the last six weeks. How do you continue to impress on people that to keep it that one game at a time thing instead of looking at the possibilities of what could happen here? I think the the goal never changes. You know, um, the big picture is, is the goal. Like that's understood already. It's not nothing that we have to talk about. We have to look at. It's already understood. But we can't get there unless we take it one week at a time. And that's the only way we can do it. Obviously, we got a, a tough 49er team. That I mean, we can't look past if, even if we wanted to. You know, so. Um, you know, we just we just here, like I said, trying to take it one week at a time, and that's what we're going to do um, every week. I mean, I mean, it's not much else to say. Yeah. How much different is it preparing for a team like this who has like four running backs who can really make plays at any time, as opposed to Andrews who really just have one? All right. Well, only one can play at a time. <laughs> you know, so maybe two. <laughs> maybe two but um, you know, uh, those guys have been great for that for that offense. Um, you know, all year long. Obviously, um, those guys are kind of similar to our offense. So we get a chance to look at those guys pretty much every day also. So um, just having an a understanding of how our offense play, what they do, um, I think we kind of get a head start on you know the preparation aspect of it, um, just knowing what, what the 49ers may want to do or how they call in the game or how they want to attack us. So. Um, I think we have a kind of understanding of what they want to do. Obviously a tough team, really good players over there, so it's always going to be a challenge.